So, I bought an Ethernet adapter for my Starlink because yes, we all know that the Wi-Fi router of Elon, the Starlink doesn't have Ethernet ports. And the only way you're going to share or uh, connect the Starlink into your home network is to buy an Ethernet adapter, which you really need to buy if you're going to use it at home, like me. Now, there's also one thing that I observe with the Starlink, which I have a lot of disconnections. I'm not really sure if it's the connection with the satellite or there's also a problem with the Wi-Fi router of Elon, which is the Starlink Wi-Fi router. So I did a bypass mode so that the Wi-Fi router of Starlink, it would not function as a Wi-Fi router. So I have the Netgear Wi-Fi router to do all the routing stuff in the Wi-Fi signal. And then I'm going to tell you in a couple of months if there's an improvement of my connection, all right? Of course, uh, there will be connection issues with the Starlink going to the satellites, but most of the time, I often feel like there's something wrong with the Wi-Fi router. Um, stability case, uh, but I cannot confirm. Right now, after a month, I'm going to give you an update about that because uh, after a few speed tests that I did um, using the adapter and using the third-party Wi-Fi router, which is the Netgear, there's improvement, but I cannot conclude right now. After a couple of months, I'm going to record a video detailing all the advantages of using a third-party Wi-Fi router for Starlink. So jump in, I'm going to show it to you. So this is the adapter, as you have seen earlier. And basically this has a diagram. It's very simple, easy to follow. So that's what we're going to do so that we are going to connect the adapter. First up, I'm going to remove this um, cable coming from Starlink, the dish. Now, of course, it is powered on. I just, just don't want to restart the whole Starlink. So um, anyway, it's not going to short up because it's one way plug. You cannot interchange it. So mm, wait, wait up. I just want to make sure I'm not going to bend anything. Okay. So there you go, plugged in. Then it's time to basically connect this one to our network because of course you see the reason why we have this again is that ethernet port. Okay, there you go. Let's do it. So I've plugged it already. You can see it here. There you go, the ethernet cable going to the Netgear Wi-Fi router, which is the black one. You have seen that one in my previous videos. And of course, the next thing is to bypass this one. You can find that setting on the Starlink app. So we are bypassing the capability of the Starlink to be a router and a Wi-Fi so that the Netgear third-party router will do the maximum capability of a router or a Wi-Fi. Okay? All right. So I did basically went up to test this one and you can see that before I was getting around 100 plus, 180. Now, I was really shocked that I was in 200, like 270, 276. Well, anyways, this remains to be uh, concluded in a couple of months maybe or a month that I'm going to use it. I'll come up with a video wherein I'm going to tell you something if there are improvements of the Wi-Fi adapter in bypassing the Wi-Fi router of Starlink. So anyways, guys, if you have learned something from this video, of course, like this video. And if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe. And see you on my next update for this Starlink. Okay?